This is Dr. Phil Chavez. The USS Missouri had an amazing run. It stands right behind me. It spanned five decades and three wars, World War II, Korea, and Operation Desert Storm. Now the historic Mighty Mo, as she is often referred to, spans 887 feet and weighs over 45,000 tons, and docks permanently right here in Pearl Harbor on Ford Island as Memorial Complex near the Arizona. Now in the Brooklyn Navy Yard, January 1941, the USS Missouri underwent construction following the USS Iowa, USS New Jersey, and USS Wisconsin. She was designed to be a fast battleship, bal balancing firepower and armor without compromising speed. The Missouri accommodated four large engines with over 200,000 shaft horsepower, allowing the battleship at its speeds in excess of 33 knots, notably improving the 27 knots of the previous class of battleship. She was faster also than the 26 knot capacity of Japanese ships of the time. Now the Missouri was launched on January 29, 1944 and was officially commissioned the following June 11th. She went on her shakedown cruise into the Pacific Theater. Departing Pearl Harbor in early January 1945, she provided anti-aircraft defense for carriers conducting strikes against Tokyo. February 19th, she supported the invasion of Iwo Jima and for much of March, she would provide anti-aircraft support firing on Japanese aircraft that threatened the aircraft carriers around her. Now on March 24, she joined the USS New Jersey and USS Wisconsin for the shore bombardment of Okinawa. On April 11th, a kamikaze aircraft glazed the Missouri on her starboard side below the main deck. Later that month, more kamikaze attacks came. On May 18th, the Missouri became a flagship for the Third Fleet and Admiral Bill Halsey. In July, the battleship joined the Task Force 34 and aircraft carriers for more strikes against mainland Japan, bombarding the steelworks at Mororan and Hokkaido, as well as other industrial targets at Honshu. Now, a final assault of kamikaze aircraft was fended off on August 9th, and it was on August 15th that Admiral Halsey received word of Japan's unconditional surrender. That ceremony lasted here right on board the USS Missouri for only 23 minutes. That happened at Tokyo Bay on September 2nd, 1945, bringing an end to the bloodiest conflict in human history. It was on 9.02 a.m. that General Douglas MacArthur opened with a brief opening speech calling for justice and rebuilding. That first signature of surrender came from Foreign Minister Mamoru Shigemitsu, representing the Emperor of Japan, followed by his Chief of Army General Staff. After General MacArthur signed the instrument of surrender and other Allied representatives followed. May all of the men of the mighty Mo, the USS Missouri, and all those who served in the Pacific Theater, may God be with you all. We appreciate you viewing our Manly Minutes. Thank you for whatever donation you can offer to make our content possible. Go to themensacademy.org backslash donate. Thank you.